Hey, this is Ginger Zumeda, and welcome back again to the Usable Marketing Podcast. I am so excited right now. Um, You're hopefully hearing this in semi real time, but uh, we have been working away on something that is like 20 years in the making, which is our masterclass. Um, It is the uh, what did I want to call it? Um, it's the market domination masterclass. It's the customer acquisition masterclass, the retention masterclass. Um, uh, I'm kidding. It's actually the marketing canvas masterclass, but it has all of those things inside it. And so what I thought I would do today is I, I just want to give you a little peek behind the scenes of how we're putting this together because Putting together this masterclass in many, many ways is similar to the things that you just need to know in marketing, right? So what we're doing with the masterclass is launching a new product. Um, This is a first for us. Uh, If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know, I've made my living for the last 20 years, you know, um, either working for really big companies like NBC or consulting for really big companies like Coca-Cola and Verizon and and, uh, Disney and, you know, all the way down to kind of medium sized companies and even some startups. And this masterclass is the result of that. Basically, what we are doing Um, and I'm kind of, uh, excited, nervous, um, uh, but I just know it's going to be great is we're taking all of, all of the elements of the masterclass and going super, super, super deep into a course. I've, I've, uh, I've also taught, you know, I've taught at the university undergraduate and graduate level in marketing. I've taught everything. I mean, I actually started out in research. I've I've taught market research and taught digital marketing and social marketing and traditional marketing and every marketing theory. I mean, every possible thing you could do. And, and, you know, not casting any aspersions on the university systems, but I will tell you what was always super frustrating for me teaching, uh, um, these students was that the textbooks were just so um, out of touch in a way. I mean, marketing is moving very fast, as you know. Digital just keeps getting faster and faster. There's so many choices. I mean, one of the things that, that I get a lot is people just asking me, you know, where, where should I spend my time and my money in, in my marketing dollars, right? You know, because there's so many places it could be. I've had folks that have been like, Hey, can I, can you help me find someone to do my social? And then looked at what they're doing and said, like, social is the last thing you need to be doing right now. You need to focus on this other aspect. So the real takeaway is that this masterclass, I'm just going to give you a tease on and how we're marketing it, right? So basically what we did is for about three months or so, we've had the concept of doing this and we need to start making um, making all of the marketing. So the marketing that we've been doing is the first thing that we did is went to our... Um, our list. You know, if you've heard me um, say this before, uh, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it over and over and over again, but your list is one of your most valuable assets. So if you're not working to build a list right now, or you don't have a list, it's something that you really need to work on. The other thing that we did that was really interesting is we ran some tests before we um, officially launched this is we put together two lead magnets into the market. One of the lead magnets was for a free guide to the marketing canvas. You've been hearing about that one over and over again, but we did some ads on Facebook to, to push people to the guide. The other lead magnet that we did was um, start on Facebook as well, pushing people into my 10 favorite persona templates. Um, these are the templates that, you know, the reality is that there are, there's short persona templates, there are long perso- persona templates, there are technical persona templates, and, and there's, there's a use for all of them. So I was directing people to my 10 favorite persona templates as a download. And we learned some really interesting things. What we learned is that much more entrepreneurial types uh, responded to wanting the full marketing canvas guide because it really covers everything from soup to nuts. I mean, you can basically get your marketing MBA, you know, in this masterclass. And when we go and do it with clients, we do it over one or two days, but it covers everything. And they wanted, 
the whole ball of wax. The other thing, sorry, the little tapping you hear in the background is my tiny dog. Um, the, the other lead magnet though, the persona template, um, lead magnet was really interesting. That did actually well with business owners and founders um, and people running businesses. And so here's my takeaway from this. And this is something I suggest you do. You need to test different offers. You need to find out what are people responding to. What we found out was that basically that business owners, which we believe are a little bit more in our sweet spot um, because they have decision-making power, business owners respond to the business of language. And that's why they just responded to to the persona templates. So something that we're going to be moving forward with is continuing to use kind of like these frameworks and these templates that are all um, leveraged during the marketing canvas process, um, but using them to kind of pull people into our orbit. Uh, Let's see some other things that we did. So first we had to build the offer. We did some testing with the audiences. We went to market with two different lead magnets and several different um, audiences. Actually, we also used our lookalike audiences to test as well. That also helped us start to build up that list a, a little more. Then just starting last week, we started um, sending some teaser emails to our list. The reason we're sending teaser emails to our list instead of promoting directly into the masterclass yet is because those are um, going to be our warmest leads, right? You've got to f- try to figure out who your kind of cold, warm, and 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 white hot leads are because they're all going to react differently to your messages. So that's something that we started doing. Um, let me see. What else are we doing? And then doing publishing like this, right? How do we try to take every opportunity to let folks know what we're up to? The name of the game in marketing, especially in the super cluttered environment, is you have to be in the conversation. And as you know, the conversation is happening so, so fast with digital. Um, So what do we have next? Um, So first of all, if you're listening so far and you haven't signed up, this masterclass I guarantee you is going to be unlike anything you've experienced in marketing before. (laughs) We are going to cover some of the um, little known secrets like the fact that from a psychological perspective, people don't buy products and services. They they buy offers. They buy these um, imaginary outcomes that they have based on what you say. So we're going to go ahead and teach you how to say the things that you need to say how to know what the right things are that you need to say, where to put those messages so that you can actually get the response that you're looking for. There's so many little nuances and tricks now with digital that you can learn. And so we're going to be covering all of that, all of the basics of marketing and branding all the way through execution in terms of knowing exactly what you need to do, who needs to do it, how you measure it, et cetera, et cetera. So been talking about that. If you want to get on the early bird list, if you want to get on the coming soon list and have a, have a chance to get something that um, is only going to be to the few that are um, early registrants, go to TMC, TMC for the marketing canvas, tmcmastery.com. I'll put a link in the notes. Okay, but moving on to the other things that we're doing. The other things that we're doing is starting to set up actual Facebook campaigns. We're going to build a small webinar to lead into um, to lead into this for cold traffic, right? Why are we going to do that? We're going to do that because cold traffic actually needs to be warmed up, and the best way to do that is to actually give them a taste of what we're going to be covering. So stay tuned for the webinar as well. I'm going to be talking about a few of those secrets I was talking just now, just giving away the information because we want folks to know that. Um, is completely legit. So what I wanted to do just over these next couple of days, I wanted to keep you keep you posted of what's going on kind of in real time. Um, we also put a survey. When you go to tmcmastery.com, tmcmastery.com, you're also going to see a little survey that we've been getting such cool feedback. We asked which is most important for you that you actually think must, it must be included in the masterclass. There were five choices. The choices were, I just need more general awareness for my business. The second one was, um, I need more leads for my business. The third one was, I need to boost my conversions. 
The fourth one was, I need help determining the best place to put my time and my marketing dollars. And the fifth one was, I'm just looking for general marketing knowledge. Well, you may not be surprised that getting more leads is number one right now. It was number one by a landslide, but in the last couple of days, the conversions and the awareness has started to um, come on a little bit stronger. We might have a three-way tie in the end, but it kind of gives you an idea that those three things are linked. So I'll be going through the nuances between awareness leads, actual lead generation, getting leads into your pipeline and, um, and conversion. And listen, even if you're not selling online, these things apply to any type of business you have. Even if you have a store, what you need is people are going to have to be aware of your store. Then you're going to have to get them into the store if you want any chance of them actually shopping. And then you need them to purchase something. That's the conversion. So when I talk about you know awareness, leads, conversion, etc., it doesn't apply just to online businesses. It applies to every business. So that's what we're doing right now. I am ridiculously excited about this. Um, it is, uh, it's just going to be so cool. It's going to be so good. So go to tmcmastery.com, fill out the survey because I'd love to hear um, from you whether you're going to take the master class or not. Although you would be nuts not to sign up for that. Um, and I hope to see you there.